Let's learn how the paint scroll work today. Then the entirety of the cosmos is accessible to each and every individual mind connected to the great mind, the great spirit. Welcome back to the channel connectors. So in today's video, we're going to learn how to paint scroll work. So scroll works are found in many many things. Uh, they are found in uh, some models with uh, sort of like purity seals. There are scrolls, and there are many many other objects that you can also perceive as parchment that you can do some prehand. Today in this video, I'm going to show you my process about how I paint scroll work and how I address the topic of getting the shading and the highlighting done correctly first before I start going into the freehand and start touching up on everything. And I'll also be talking about how I'm going to be focusing on making squiggly lines look a little bit more like text. So if you're ready, let us begin. Alright, welcome back to another tutorial. So today we'll be focusing on how to paint scrolls and scroll work for your miniatures. Firstly, how I like to start is I like to get the volumes and the form correct for the scroll. So right now I'm using German Camo Beige mixed in with a 50-50% uh, mix of um, raw umber from the Drusonia range and right now this is just a base coat because the scrolls are going to be uh, more or less matte in nature they are going to have a lot more of this uh, shadow majority of the distribution of the value would be in my opinion shadow and mid tone and the highlights are not going to be bright at all so therefore um, at this stage you want to make sure that this is as smooth and as even as possible all right so moving on I'm gradually adding more German camo beach into the mix this will be serve as the mid-tone for the matte surface okay Right now I'm doing it in large broad strokes Focusing uh, on the larger areas rather than the small details As you guys can see I'm leaving a little bit of shadow in the overhang area But I'm not focusing too much on the on the folds yet Because at this stage you don't want to Put too much attention to the folds if not the folds will look excessively dramatic also remember at this stage you want to make sure that the coat is even and the coat is uh, opaque so now gradually i'm adding in a little bit of i'm adding in a little bit of ivory And this will serve as the final highlight for the scroll color. So right now at this stage, this is where I start to pay a little bit of attention to the details. But don't worry at this stage if you mess up the the form and the details of the scroll we will be cleaning that up in the later stage you want to make sure that this stage you is just a sketch so that if you want to make alterations later it's going to be easy so gradually adding more ivory in With a smaller brush, I'm going to start painting in the whites. So this white color, as you can see in the box art over here, it's a white square with a, with a end bone in the middle. When you're doing freehand, I would recommend that the color that you initially put on 
is relatively similar to the base color that you have just done. This allows you to go back to the previous color and modify it so that it's, it looks as sharp as possible. Now with pure chimera black, I'm going to line these shapes. As for lining, my recommendation is to keep the pins as dry as possible but uh, also keep your brush uh, dry too. So this allows you to control the paint even more. It's a very fine balance between dryness because if the paint is too dry, it won't flow off the brush. So of course, there still needs to be some degree of water and dilution in there, but you don't want this dilution to be too drastic because if the dilution is too drastic, there's a chance that um, the opacity is in there. So you want this to be pretty opaque and once you've drawn the line, I'll go back to this white color to thin down the black lines and go back to the to the previous um, German Camo Beige color to start to thin down the lines and clean up the, the sharpness of it. As you guys can see, when painting these shapes, um, sharpness and detail is everything. So you just want to make sure that you gradually clean it up. As you guys can see, the circle isn't perfect, so you want to use the previous color to start perfecting it. Right now, I'm also sketching in the main shapes of the freehand. What I always recommend for freehands is to paint the freehand first in the model, <laughs> because uh, if you if you paint the freehand last. The model is going to be very perfect and very delicate and you're going to spend a lot of time cleaning up the, the rubbed off paint from your hand. So what I always like to do is, I always like to sketch the free hand first. And then I'm going to gradually and subsequently improve on the free hand over time. The trick to free hand is not to rush and to do it as gradually as possible. As you guys can see, the initial stages of the freehand isn't always good and you will always need to do, make fine alterations. You will always need to make fine alterations to this so that you can get a freehand which is up to your standard. Alright, now I'm going to start moving on. I'm going to start moving on to the emblem on the square here. But a good trick to freehanding is to always have reference material on hand. So my reference material is the box art. I'm currently using the box art and I'm trying to be as, uh, as close as possible to the box art. So it looks like a TR in this uh, in this box art so right now I'm just sketching in the, the rough shapes before I'm going to more detail as per normal once you sketch in the raw shapes then after that you can start modifying the little details and clean up the entire shape
Now we are moving on to the individual script work. So for the script work, there are some generic patterns that you can follow. So what I like to do is, you can look at how paragraphs are organized, especially in programs like Microsoft Word. You have a center justified as seen in this image. You have a left justified and so on and so forth. Okay, so right now I'm painting in uh, center justified, but then in a newspaper format where the text is uh, organized in easy to read narrow chunks. When painting the squiggly lines, you don't want it to be a full squiggly line. You want it to be a dotted line. Just randomly dot and make sure that it is as justified as possible. Justified means that the, the lines are as aligned as possible. So right now, as you guys can see, I'm going back to the German camo beige color to start to clean up the justification. And then after that, I'm going in between the lines. I'm doing this as randomly and as carefully as possible so that the words start to look like text rather than just squiggly lines. One tip that you can follow is that you can use a thinner version of this German Camel Beach. And you can start to um, randomly dab the lack of opacity gives it some random shapes in the text which also can sometimes be perceived as thinner lines from a distance so as you guys can see it's a lot of cleanup and these are the rough stages that you would want to follow for the entire process. So this is a very brief outline of how I, I paint sprues. You can always add more color to, to this format. But now, as you guys can see, I'm using a more highlighted version of this German camo beige again to start to create texture. How I create texture is with this very thin down version of this color I'm placing a block of it down and then I'm scratching it around like how I paint fur to create a very rough texture you can see more of this in the fur painting video uh, in the cuts on the top right hand corner the links will also be in the show notes Alright, so this is the final product and I'll be going back to clean it up even more before putting it all together. So, do you have any other techniques about painting scrolls and priorities use? Let me know in the comments below, alright? So if you found this video useful, I would really appreciate if you shared it all over social media because it really helps the channel grow a lot, okay? And if you haven't subscribed yet, please now click the subscribe button, click it, click it now. I wait. Okay, good. Click the subscribe button, hit the bell notification icon so we know uh, when we post videos next. We post videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and sometimes Saturdays. Uh, that's a lot of videos. Become a patron today so you get exclusive access and you guys get to interact with me so that we get to become better painters together. Alright? Uh, I also like to thank my patrons for making this possible. Uh, without them, uh, I wouldn't be producing awesome content like this. So I really appreciate if you found this video useful, become a Patreon now. The links are in the show notes, please. Just go click and just have a look at it. Alright, I post Patreon videos once a week, uh, hopefully twice a week. So yeah, I hope you guys are happy with it and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you.